why do I feel like I'm supposed to just be here for the moment? But at the same time, it seems like, why would I put myself in a position where I'm not wanted? <laughs> I feel like I'm here for, um, for that, to put myself in a position where I'm not wanted, to work on my deep wounds in whatever that brings up. It's, it's absolutely the most bizarre way of looking at life, but it's, it's kind of how I see it. Not like a power play or anything, like I want to not piss other people off, <laughs> but I, like, life seems to be stopping me from doing it. And as soon as I figure out what this wound is, and as soon as I, um, I heal it or whatever, I feel like I'll just mosey on to the next life calling. I don't know, down to Ballarat or something, I should be, I should be doing something. And then peace just went right over me. And I was just observing life. <laughs> and it's gonna sound weird. I was like, I'm that, I'm that. I am the tree, I am that person, I am this person. I'm that tradie guy, I'm that girl over there. I'm. Just this incredible amount of uh, friendliness coming over me where I just felt so content with where I was in that moment. I was so content. <laughs> just really happy to be in that space at that time by myself, sipping on coffee, watching the world, observing life. I don't know. I just felt really grateful that I've got this opportunity to be here now especially now I think especially now going through these cycles oh these major cycles and transforming ourselves like that's incredible we haven't been able to look at life like this before everything's new now we're discovering new things about ourselves about this world about how life works even though it's been there the whole time and that's why it feels so familiar when you get it like you're like this has actually been here like this the whole time we just didn't see it like this before it's it's pretty cool it's not cool for those who aren't looking at it in a good way at the moment if they're not looking at life as a grand adventure they're probably going through fucking hell right now because right now I feel like all our shadows are coming up to the surface to be transmuted because it doesn't belong in the new world that we're creating this new way of um, life that is revealing itself to us unfolding to us our past wounds and stuff like that just don't belong in this new place it's not good to do what I do and just look for all the negative because if you seek the negative all you're gonna find is the negative it's like looking for the signs, like as they come up, uh, as they come up to be dealt with, not digging too deep, but like getting excited when you discover something new about yourself that you didn't realize. Like it's exciting for me when I, when I get a new pain and then I get too excited and then life has a way of like sort of pulling me back as well and like crushing my ego, <laughs> which I feel like I'm here for as well. Like getting rid of these ego, these big grand egoic things that are in me that I thought were quite normal and they're not like as in well they're normal for humans to always want to be like here to make a big difference in the world and to make an impact and to succeed you know we've had that ingrained in us but I feel like like I'm here for uh, figuring out life that brings me more joy than you know if you said to me hey I'm gonna give you ten million dollars I could do a lot of good with ten million dollars but I'd still spend my time figuring out life. Like that's how I'd spend my time, is, is still trying to figure out this puzzle of life. So, you know, there's something in that for me, like that's has been the common theme throughout. I really want to experience it from my unique perspective because, you know, there is no one out, there is no one else like me. And I don't mean that in an egoic way. I mean, there's no one else like you, there's no one else like me. There's, we've got these, this opportunity for each of us to have a completely different experience and perspective about what is unfolding here. And that's just as exciting to me and interesting to me to see how different people, you know, the diverse ways that people are 
getting the exact same message, coming to the same realizations, getting going through the cycles, you know, are all from their own unique piece of the puzzle, their own, they're having their own experience through this. It's, we're going to start to see some crazy stuff happening as, as people go a little bit insane if they um, are not actively working on their stuff and then, re, you know, interpreting it from the way that they used to interpret it, which can't work because it's completely new. So some, some people, because they haven't got the desire to question what is going on with them, they might just think that they're crazy and I no longer think I'm crazy. This is how good it is. Like, before, I used to be so embarrassed about me seeing the world so completely different than what I seemingly everybody else was. And now I'm finding out that people have been going through these cycles for years. They just had a different interpretation than I did. But they're going through the same thing. They're getting the same message. They're coming to the same realizations. It's happening. They just um, call it different things. Like, I know that some, some of my friends have been calling helplines and stuff like that. They've been, um, you know, going through some kind of... In the same time that I was last year, they were ringing up helplines, suicide helplines and stuff like that because they didn't know what was going on with them and they just thought they were just going mad over, over small things too. Like, over what, you know, they couldn't pinpoint something major going on so they thought that there was something really bad going on with them and they've come out of it the other side. I know some people probably won't come out of it, but I think, you know, people are reaching the depths, the deepest, darkest depths of their soul stuff, then deciding, you know what, no white knight in shining armor or whatever is gonna come and save them through this. The only way out is in. The only way out of their trauma is to go within and to become master of their own emotions and their fears. Master, master of their fears and take 100% responsibility for how they want to interpret anything so that they can have a better life in life and put them in a, in a position where they actually have no choice but to do that. They have to go within. So even if we think, oh my God, they're, you know, they're really going through a really hell of a time now, the only way out for them is in. So they have to go in and they have to release this stuff and then then they'll come out of it the other side and they go oh what a ride what a release and I just feel like we're just we're going to be going through these cycles a lot easier once we come to terms with the fact that we have to keep changing our we have to keep breaking down our ego kind of um, control thing and becoming more of a uh, in alignment with nature and in a easier about things not trying to hold on to things as as much but also I feel like you know because I'm going through some kind of cycle now and I don't know what next but I feel like as I keep um, going within and as I keep getting stiller and um, getting more grounded and things like that which I think life is trying to just show me you know pull back because I was you know trying to push and, and advance my way through life and I feel like it's just trying to, you know, tell me to just come, calm, calm down. Stop trying to push so much. You'll be, life will show you as you're ready. You know, just watch it, how it all unfolds and, and do the work, do the work, go with it. But I feel like, you know, if I trust that, and sometimes I'm like, come on already, which is I, maybe my biggest challenge because maybe I've always been trying to push ahead, trying to learn everything, trying to question everything. And so that's one of my big lessons is to, you know, completely do the opposite of that because <laughs> it's hard for me to do that. But I feel like as I do it, I will be shown and it might not be anything like, like all the projects that I've been working on over the last five years, all the websites that I've been working on over the last five years, all the big grand plans and blueprints and stuff that I've created over the last five years, maybe none of them will come into fruition because of this. Maybe I'll be shown what is really in alignment to the core of who I am, my authentic self. Maybe that is part of my uh, persona that I thought that I wanted to create for me before I died. Maybe it's not even my path. Maybe it's just something that I wanted because I saw how much suffering there was in the world and I wanted to do something about it and I thought that I could. But maybe that's not my path. I don't know. 
I'm just I'm just trusting right now like I really am just trusting what one person's fear is and another person's fear is is completely different but the, the feeling is still just as powerful so it's not like going well that person's it's not the same as when, when I used to go when I used to try and make myself feel better I'll go well at least I've got a roof over my head like there is value in finding gratitude for what you have but there is also like wisdom in not judging people for where they're at and what they deem as fearful in their life because that's their unique demons that are working on them their their unique things that are coming up that they haven't worked on it it's still just as scary for them to go through something that we would deem much smaller because we've already worked on that fear or we've never had that fear because our journey is different so there's like wisdom in just acknowledging that that everyone's going through different things but they are still feeling the same depths of pain um, as they're working through it because there is these demons in them that they have to transmute their, their, their unique fears are being the buttons are being pushed the wounds are being shown you know these are here 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 are your wounds it's just life showing you what you need to transmute it's life showing you what is there that doesn't belong in this new world that we're creating and this new thing that that I think we're already in you know there is no there I don't think there's ever an end thing but wherever we're at it's just totally not the same place as where we were at a year ago like things are just evolving so fast and I know that everyone's just ha you're having a completely different unique experience as they go through it but it is all the same thing even if we interpret it in different ways and um, have a different idea about what it is they're all going through the same cycles I'm not the same cycles but you know they're unique cycles of what they need to learn at this particular time and I am going to go in and have a coffee and then try and find a proper car space because I'm in the loading zone but yes I spoke for 22 minutes when I had absolutely nothing to say